Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How do you hear me? Okay. Uh, so, they, uh, so today we are talking about a very important uh, topic about risk and money management. As I said, uh, previous lessons very, um, not very extremely important uh, topic for a successful trader. Uh, so, uh, what is risk money management and uh, what is mo uh, money management? First of all, uh, we're talking about risk management. So, risk management is an essential uh, but often overlooked uh, prerequisite uh, to successful active trading. Uh, after all, a trader who has generated uh, substantial profits over uh, his or her lifetime can lose it all in just one or two bad trades if proper risk management isn't employed. Uh, risk management plays an important role in the life of an active trader. After all, a trader can make 90% winning trades, but if the 10% of losing trades are uh, meshed, led, they can lose money on a net basis. A very important thing is planning your trades. Uh, planning ahead can often mean the difference between success and failure traders. Uh, if you remember, I uh, told about stop loss and take profits in a previous lesson. So, uh, stop loss and take profits point represent two key ways in which traders can plan ahead when trading. Uh, so, successful traders know what price they are willing to pay and at what price they are willing to sell and they measure the resultant returns against the probability of the stock hitting their goals. If the adjustment return is high enough, they, uh, then they execute the trade. But, conversely, unsuccessful traders often enter a trade without having any idea of the point at which they will sell at a profit or a lose. Like gamblers or lucky or unlucky streak, emotions begin to take over and uh, dictate their trades. Losses often provoke people to hold on and hope to make their money back, while profits often uh, entice trades to impardently hold on for even more gains. So, stop loss and take profit points. Stop loss points in the price at which a trade will sell a stock and take a loss on the trade. Often this happens when a trade doesn't pan uh, out the way a trade hoped. The points are designed to prevent the it will come back. Mentality and limit losses before they escalate. For example, if a stock breaks below a key support level, traders often sell as soon as possible. On the other side, a take profit point is the price at which a trader will sell a stock and take a profit on the trade. Often this is when additional upside is limited given the risk. For instance, if a stock is approaching a K resistance uh, level after large move upward, traders may want to sell before a period of consolidation takes place. So how to effectively set stop loss points? Uh, to my mind, setting stop loss and take points is often done using technical analysis, but fundamental analysis can also play a key role in timing. For instance, if a trader is holding a stock ahead of earnings and estimate builds, uh, uh, they may want to sell before the news hits the market if expectations have become too high, regardless of whether the take profit price has been hit. Another great way to play uh, stop loss or take profit levels is on support or resistor trend lies. Uh, this can be drawn by connecting previous high or lows that occurred of significant above average volume. Like with moving average, the gains determinating levels at which the price react to the trend lies and of course on high volume. So what about uh, money management? Uh, money management is a process of uh, in general uh, it's a process of uh, budgeting, saving, investing, spending or 
otherwise overseeing the capital usage of an individual or group. Um, the predomin uh, predominate uh, use of the phrase in financial market is that of an investment professional making investment decisions for large pools of funds, such as mutual funds on pension plans. Money management can also be referred to as investment management and portfolio management. Most traders begin tra uh, their trading career with a uh, consciously or subconsciously uh, visualizing the big one. The one trade that will make them millions and allow them to uh, retire young can live <laughs> uh, carefully for the rest of their lives. But the cold hard truth unfortunately for most retail traders is that instead of expressing, uh, expressing the big win, most traders fall victim to just one big lose. That can knock them out of the game forever. So, I think the difference between a successful trader and losing trader has a lot less to do with the successful trader's ability to pick winners than you might think. All traders are going to experience losers and loss of them. It's factors. It's a fact of the business. A winner, however, embarrasses the understanding that a large element of any one trade is a randomness. In effect, uh, any given trade is uh, one some level a gamble. Losing traders are inevitable, and the winner takes the inevitability into account. Many long-time successful managers have done it uh, with a winning percentage uh, just above 50 percent. And even the best traders are right only about 60 percent or higher of the time. Uh, sometimes uh, I think you read that you should uh, only one percent of your capital per trade. In an uh, ideal world, yes, that would be perfect. That would be work because there is little chance that you could have uh, 100 negative trades in succession. But this management strategy is useful for big hedge funds, which have significant capital and extremely low cost. If you have 10,000 to invest, taking every uh, $100 loss is virtually impossible with the cost, minimum lot size. So. If you have one million dollars to invest, uh, ten thousand lose is completely controllable. I think uh, this is therefore the paradox of money management. I think is the stock market or cryptocurrency market. The more capital you have, the more eff effective your more money management strategy is, uh, and if you are sensible, if you have a modest capital with a tight money management strategy it will be more difficult to earn money because your stop orders will be tighter and will be triggered uh, more often. So we can uh, summarize as follows. Uh, the more money you have, the easier it is to make mo uh, more while taking a little risk. The less money you have, the more difficult it is to make more. The risk will be greater even with a good money management strategy. So, guys, you must find a money management system adapted to your capital. And now I want to show you an example of risk and money management and intraday trading. So, uh, for example, the risk planning for months uh, and, uh, as you know, all uh, business plan uh, starts uh, with uh, negative scenario, monthly, year scenario, or business plan scenario. So, what about first week? For example, uh, your daily max stop loss, $50. Plus, remember about exchanges, commission, and fees uh, for, for market order you pay maybe 25 cents per trade and 50 uh, cents for a uh, limit order. It's um, most exchanges, cryptocurrency, you know. If you're very active day trader, it's the sum was, um, would be very big, I remember. But if three days loss, uh, it's a negative scenario, I remind. 
the uh, fourth day off. Don't look at the charts at all. Fifth day, analyze of the market situation of the uh, fourth day and preparation for the current day, but don't trade. It's very important. Hourly weekly stop loss can't exceed 150 plus commi uh, dollars plus commission. So, second week. Your day loss, $35. Uh, but um, my, I rec uh, reckon uh, then uh, you should uh, some um, minimum day loss. Not $1, not $2. It uh, would be a comfortable uh, number for, for you. It's uh, not uh, minimize all, all week. Uh, for example, 35, 25, 15, 5. Uh, you uh, will be a lot of uh, negative uh, trades and uh, your psychology uh, condition is, uh, will be very bad and uh, you go out for trading. <laughs> so, uh, for example, uh, second week day loss thirty-five dollars, and remember about exchanges, commission, and fees. If you have two days loss, the third day off. Again, don't look at the charts at all. Uh, first, uh, first day analysis of trades, analysis of the markets in relation uh, of the third day and preparation for the current day, and maybe. Uh, fifth day preparation for a working day and uh, uh, you and trader uh, should uh, conduct a dialogue with uh, himself and decide uh, trade or not so so action is the uh, pre uh, presence of a situation from here our week stop loss cannot exceed more than 100, maybe 5, maybe 10 dollars plus commission. And if third week is very bad, your date loss the same as the second, plus and remember about exchange commission at fees. No more than two trading uh, day per weeks. Trading day. And very important, our weekly stop loss cannot exceed seventy dollars plus commission. So again, uh, this is a bad scenario. Yes, if you don't succeed and everything is bad, uh, it's important not uh, lose so much money. Then in one week, maybe a few days. With a favorable market, you can earn several times more money than you lose. So after the monthly negative scenario, if if this scenario comes, first uh, for a few days, forget about the market at all. Second, the rest of the month is spent in training and market knowledge. Uh, for instance, new strategies, a new time frame maybe uh, some new styles, maybe not in, uh, intraday trading, maybe swing trading, uh, maybe uh, some cryptocurrency uh, in a uh, very cheap price have like Ripple, like Stellar, maybe you find some patterns on this uh, cheap blue chips. So next Uh, next, it's risk for intraday. Some pair dates uh, uh, was for months, week, and per day. So three uh, negative uh, or difficult trades. Uh, difficult trades I uh, mean uh, when you uh, open position and. Um, everything is summing up according to your scenario, but the price is uh, constantly return to the uh, your entry point 
and your exit may be a little plus or a little minus or this zero values and this can put your balance you're nervous so uh, closing the platform your trading platform and the break of the least 30 minutes maybe do some exercise maybe you're smoking maybe eating some or <laughs> etc what do you want after the very positive of very negative trade is the same closing the platform trading your platform and a break of the list so that means because it's a very uh, serious test for your mind so sir be careful with uh, commission because it's a very important uh, number if you are active day traders you have a low commission and for don't give the market more than 25 percent if you earn uh, two or three months day loss uh, for example your day loss is uh, 50 dollars if you earn 150 dollars you shouldn't lose more than 25 percent for this sum near the 37 yes 38 dollars so uh, not only is best scenario for you so uh, I uh, hope uh, more you have a positive scenario so with positive dynamics for the months what you can do first of all increase the max day loss by 50 percent or more so if you have fifty dollars your uh, day risk um, maybe seventy five maybe eighty dollars you feel uh, good yes your statistic is very good you earn money uh, you have to increase your max loss second look uh, for situation where you can enter at least two parts at least two parts I mean uh, if you uh, buy 100 coins or Litecoin yes try uh, add position or uh, open position for 200 Litecoin or Bitcoin if you have cash uh, maybe uh, Ripple yes or Stellar because uh, because you believe in yourself and uh, the market is acceptable so work on your uh, situation I mean my situation where you uh, feel very good with a favorable combination of circumstances risk 50% uh, max day loss so if you earn uh, some money yes it's a very good month very good week uh, come on take the risk yes uh, it's very important uh, and uh, it's uh, more important that the action this action will allow you to leave the comfort zone and switch to new numbers switch to new emotions uh, switch to new uh, earns example traded cryptocurrency has a volume as a trade trade continues Bitcoin is the same direction for example you trade um, other cryptocurrency a cl clearly visibly goal so first trade cryptocurrency has a volume in yes, some situation maybe some support support some resistance and you see the volume and you open the trade it's your risk is here stop loss and your uh, goal maybe is here you take profit
price go up and second one the day trend continues yes stop go up stop go up it's uptrend uh, Bitcoin BTC move up to and you have clearly visible goal it's very important uh, if you not have uh, this goal you you can't take money from the table maybe for this situation it's so clear it's your profit if you uh, haven't goal it's maybe hmm, and oh no it's only a few dollars plus if you're not a clearly goal next uh, it's important sync position side and your stop per trade uh, a lot of meanings uh, what is uh, uh, your position size would be if your capital 1000 1 million dollars uh, a lot of uh, examples but for me uh, the size of uh, your capital is first is very important you cannot risk 10% of the capital in one trade it's not a good idea uh, often the risk should not be more than uh, maybe 1 or 2% of the capital but uh, as I said in the beginning of uh, my speech this is a good uh, scenario for uh, hedge funds sometimes day traders risk a lot of uh, your capital maybe 5% but it's only um, it's not often maybe a few times per week but uh, sometimes you uh, need to risk more if you uh, want to earn more money yes it's a problem of uh, small capital because you need uh, earn more percent than uh, if you have 10 million dollar I think uh, 10 percent per year 1 million is a very nice profit Second, your uh, attitude to risk. Uh, not all people are willing to give a big risk. Uh, they think maybe not better that uh, trade only not uh, expensive cryptocurrency. I mean, if you're uh, nervous of uh, not keep calm for us uh, when you open the position, maybe think about um, you better trade only not expensive cryptocurrency, not Bitcoin, not uh, Litecoin, maybe. Ripple, why not? Uh, third, the cost of cryptocurrency. Uh, obviously, you can't risk 10 cent in both uh, cryptocurrency uh, like such as Ripple uh, and Bitcoin, yes, because Ripple value is uh, near uh, 50 cents and Bitcoin uh, between six and seven thousand dollars. These prices are extremely different. Uh, the next one, cryptocurrency volatility. Uh, I think we, in the future, we uh, talk about volatility. It's a very important number for trading. And uh, one cryptocurrency passes during the day a few hundred dollars, another several dollars, a third one a few cents. So it's different volatilities. And uh, and finally. Uh, some uh, scheme uh, remember about the increase in position that's where the situation are uh, I call this uh, initial risk of ten dollars uh, add to position additive risk uh, nil and your profit seventy five dollars not fifty so what does it look like moment For instance, uh, Ethereum Classic. For example, price thirteen dollars. 
your entry point and you buy 100 coins or ETC and your target 30, 13 dollars uh, and 50 cents yes it's a 50 cents all this I'm off it's your target uh, for example uh, your risk uh, 10 cents 90 and t excuse me 20 and 90 cents so one to five yes risk uh, reward uh, start risk reward one and five let's image uh, price uh, goes up and when uh, price reached thirteen dollars and seventy five cents you add one hundred coins and your uh, position would be um, 200 coins but your average price or excuse me 25 not 75 it's a half of your way uh, your average price would be a uh, half for uh, Thirteen dollars and thirteen twenty-five because you add on one hundred percent for your trade. Yes, it's maybe your uh, average price it would be thirteen dollars and twelve and five dollars. Yes, but you have position uh, two hundred coins and your stop loss automatically would be your new average price 13 and 105 but for 200 coins uh, and it's, uh, it's very easy yes if price uh, goes up and then go down Uh, you will earn anything but position go to your target price you take profit 13 and 50 cents you earn 75 dollars because 16 and 50 minus your average price 17 it would be nil 375 yes and multiply 2 approximately 75 dollars So if you uh, didn't add to your position here, yes, you earn only fifty dollars. If you if your action is aggressive, yes, and market uh, goes up, maybe for impulse trade, you earn more than twenty five dollars. It's a fifty percent for this for your start goal. It's very uh, important thing and uh, uh, it's a very important moment if you add position uh, take your risk to your new um, average price because you uh, if you left your risk for 12 and uh, 90 percent you 90 cents 
you are lose more than you plan uh, the start. So what I mean uh, for situation as I called initial risk of ten dollars, additive risk nil dollars and your profit seventy five dollars, not fifty dollars. So guys, today I wanted to give you initial information about risk and money management. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And great weekend to everyone and see you next week. See you.